Yeah, because I found something interesting on, uh, you know, about uh, time theory on this uh, pound yen daily. This uh, vertical line right here, starting from this day, uh, August 12th, to the next lowest, if you count the candles, from this day to the next candle is right here, right? Right here. So if you count the candles between this one to this one, 16 candlesticks. And 17 is one of the Kihon Suchi numbers, right? So you can see it's pretty close here. So if you look for the time cycles, uh, you know, focus on the, you know, lows and highs on the market and count the candles in between and check if that's gonna be one of the Kihon Suchi numbers like 9, 17, uh, 26, 33 and so on. So check if the interval is kind of close to those numbers. Sometimes it's going to be exactly on, you know, on Kihon Suchi numbers, but uh, sometimes it can be, you know, close, kind of like, a, you know, or one or one or two candles difference, but it should be close to, uh, you know, one of the Kihon Suchi numbers. You know, like here, uh, when you find from this lowest to the next lowest is, you know, found to be 16 candles, right? So uh, what I will think is that, you know, as soon as I see this uh, 16 bars, I, I will think that it might tell you, you know, something, you know, something that uh, this might be matching with the time cycles in Ichimoku Kinkou-hyo. Now, if you go backwards, uh, 9 or 17 or 26 candles from this lowest, 9 will be like here, right? 9 candle or uh, 17 will be right here and 26 candles will be right here. 26 bars, 27. So uh, uh, on this, you know, 9 or 17 or 26 candles, you find pretty much nothing, right? Well, uh, 17 bars you cannot see that you know uh, the lowest uh, uh, during this uh, you know bearish trend but it's not really remarkable I guess what's remarkable is this lowest in this case you only focus on this low to the future but because if you go backwards uh, you pretty much find nothing it was 16 candles to the next lowest so I put the vertical line here so what about the next high or next low to the next high the next high is going to be going to be like um, these candles right so to the next high how many candles will that be from this lowest to the next highest if you take this one it's going to be 27 bars right 27 candlesticks see and 26 is another Kihon Suchi number so you can see that the market is synchronizing with the time cycle here so I put the vertical line here right here this is a 27 can candles Okay, so how about to the next low? The next low is this one. And to the next low, it's going to be 42 candles. So again, 42 is one of the Kihon Suchi here. You see, you can see that the market has been synchronizing with the time cycle from August 12th from this lowest price. And I will put the vertical line here also. The next question is, when is the next significant day? So anyways, in Kihon Suchi, if you can recall, after the number 42, uh, what number? is it? Do you remember? <laughs> there are so many, you know, series of numbers to remember in Kihon Suchi, but uh, 9, 17, 26, 33, 42, and after 42, what's number? <laughs> if you can remember. All right, 51, 51. Yeah, exactly. That's 51. That's 51, right? So you draw line 51 days after this lowest. Uh, from this lowest, uh, 51 candles will be this one. So I put the vertical line here and it's going to be 51 candles right and after 51 uh, what number is it <laughs> do you know change it to uh, dotted lines so that it can show that it's in the future day after 51 uh, what's the number right 65 exactly all right so 65 candles uh, will be on this day right here so I put the vertical line right here 65 candles right and I will be you know I, I'm not gonna delete these lines I will be keep them as I record the live trading so that you you can see the progress real time so uh, these lines can be the dates when it's going to be touching the price to this level the target like I said oh actually it's almost touching I just place you know buy here 10 lots and maximum profits already on this day right here the first line right here the market uh, might be touching to the target or you know it marks the low again I will see and depending on the price action later on you can calculate the target uh, you know with price observation theory and get the expected target uh, right now if you take this recent high here this one then uh, you know you add that pips between the high to the lowest 900 pips right here and you take this 900 pips and 
you add to either from here to uh, 900 pips will be like uh, this one right here or if you take this roll this pushback to 900 pips is going to be to this level so depending on the price uh, you know uh, observation theory uh, you can calculate like e calculation n calculation v or nt calculation uh, so that you can get the expected target also you know you can expect which day it's going to be happening depending on the price action later on so this is how you draw you know the price target and the day uh, with this uh, you know ichimoku kinko hyo theories well, uh, and also why I don't really, you know, mention about, <laughs> you know, this, uh, you know, indicator because I see that it's not really working at this moment, moment right now. Uh, you know, along this, you know, bearish momentum, it worked. Actually, you know, the price has been, looks to be, you know, resisted by, you know, these lines or price looks to be resisted on this, you know, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen right here and keeps its uh, bearish momentum and the Kumo has been, you know, upside. So uh, in this case, uh, the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is working, right? Obviously. But in this case right here, like it, when it's uh, interacting with the Kumo or, uh, you know, I don't show the Chiko span here, but when there's a Chiko span, it's going to be like, uh, you know, this like delayed 26 days right so it's going to be like uh, this right now and it's not working obviously and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen are not working really I don't see uh, you know it's really working so that's why I don't really mention about the indicator but remember the market might be you know back down to the lowest level on these lines as well right now I think it's a bullish momentum uh, like I explained earlier you know the price looks to be band working on this uh, deviation uh, it's it keeps moving up uh, to this target at least so we'll see uh, if it's going to be backwards I will be uh, take some profit and I'll look for another pushback to this target level